Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallen Sandwich Gaming with episode 4 of our Rise of Rasselhag release week series. Um, so, I just jumped into the Manadorf system as we are taking on the Crimson Crusade uh, transmission questline through House Karita just to build up some money and maybe get some salvage um, so we can go shopping afterward is, is the big plan. And possibly add some new mechs to the roster before we get into some more Rise of Rosselhog missions. So, the ISF has tracked down France and his followers and said it's their coordinates. Hopefully we can catch them off guard, off guard while they resupply and get down there and destroy everything. So, this is a demolition, I believe. Um, I use this Demolish the Crimson Inclination compound. Seems to point towards this being a demo. So... Um, if we took all the sea bills, it's about three million, probably three million after damages, depending on how we do. I think I'm going to take uh, a couple of points of salvage, so we have at least nine salvage shares. Um, you know, it, worst case scenario, we don't find anything good, and we just actually in a demo. In a demo, I probably am happy to just go full cash. Full cash on the demo. Alright, so it's 270 uh, drop weight, which means probably can upgrade this. We got 40 more tons to work with, so I can bring a 75. I don't have a 75. Um, so I could either bring the Cataphract or the Thunderbolt. Probably the Cataphract would be better here. Um, actually, I could upgrade the Quick Draw to the Thunderbolt. Which... Yeah, let's do it. And that'll get us flush on the deployed tonnage. Just make sure this is all set up correct, Mundo. That looks fine to me. Okay. Let's jump right in. Ugh. So, you'll have to excuse me. This is actually an early morning recording session for me, which is not something I always have going on. Normally I am recording at night while I'm wide awake anyway. <laughs> you know, but we're doing everything we can to make sure we hit our goal of one episode per day for the first week of Rise of Rosselhog. So, ooh, look at that. It's a pretty little beach there. Okay. Go for a little walk. And all these objectives are so far away. Alright. So we're still getting a, a feel for the Crusader a little bit. Um, you know, so far I've been pretty impressed with its capabilities. It definitely feels like, uh, at least this version. I mean, I would love to find some more versions, but uh, this version definitely feels like it's right up my alley. Also, something... Uh, Something I just noticed is that uh, that little indicator there of where your enemies are coming from. And that's a really nice little quality of life thing. Okay. There you go, my... Uh, my lance mates are locked in today. Doing a pretty good job sniping out those little skirmishing units. Locust. Looks like three light mechs. Alright. Oh no, there's a centurion there.
Okay. That's down. Interestingly enough, we've already taken an armor breach on one of our arms. So we'll just have to try to shield our our right side. Interestingly enough, we've already taken armor breach on both of our arms. Interesting. Interesting. So that's a little aggravating. That we've actually dropped an arm. Okay, so that's the uh, initial opposition down. Let's try and get this base down quickly now so we don't take any more damages. Try and uh, get this down real quick. Yeah, shooting these pipes, causing all these explosions, is definitely making it go a good bit quicker. It's a pretty, pretty large base, so try to get it over with as fast as possible. All right, and let's head on out. I doubt they'd even pose much of a threat at all to an entire Curitan regiment. However, Phantom doesn't appear to have been here either. Let's get you back to the ship and report your encounter to our ISF liaison. Reforming on you, Commander. All right, let's pull on out of here. 
to not waste any more uh, parts or damages on this experience. You know, quick little demo. Quick little demos are great. If you're just looking to make some money. You know, obviously the uh, the arms on the Crusader are very bulky and very exposed, so you just got to be careful with them. But I think we came out all right. So let's take a look here. Just grab a couple of these machine guns and uh, another medium laser, I guess. Yeah, look at that. The Thunderbolt actually outperformed the Crusader. Well, so did the uh, Cataphract, but maybe that's because we were more focused on the base than anything. But I'll take it. I will take it. So, Crimson Crusade Part 3, the ISF thanks you for your diligence on flushing out this Crimson Inclination Vermin. Our dust cleanup teams have investigated the safe house you destroyed and have encountered a number of documents at the scene. It will take time to piece together a full picture of the Crimson Inclination's greater network. But early examinations indicate that Francis and a number of his top lieutenants were not present during your attack. We believe that he and his top staff were off-world attempting to contact an unknown sponsor in an effort to resupply their forces. Naturally, we cannot allow for this to happen. Though it will take time to unravel the Inclination's greater network, we believe we have located Lord Francis himself in the Ardaz system. Our sources cite that he pilots a heavily modified dragon battle mech. I'm going to travel to Ardaz and put an end to his ambitions once and for all. Um, I wonder if that's kind of hinting that our mission reward is a dragon. Because um, dragon's dragon's pretty good mech. Um, I do like me the dragon. So we'll have to take a look and see what we actually get out of this. Um... Sometimes these transmissions do award mechs, so it could be quite the boon to get one as nice as the dragon. 18 out of 44. Like, that would technically be our best pilot. I mean, we got a bunch of guys with pretty low skills. Do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is about the number of pilots I like to carry. I'm just thinking. Like, 18's a low starting point, but we could drop somebody. Could drop, uh... Yamatsu. I don't, I don't really think it's worth it. Yeah, so... Obviously... Took some nasty hits in that one. Luckily, we have the spare parts to fix it up. So, it's not too bad. Uh, this is just structure damage is just armor damage and this guy lost a medium laser but we have it so that's not a big deal let's check the mech market while we're here it's Battlemaster 1G that's a pretty interesting one also Stalker 3F and a Stalker 3H um, which would instantly become our heaviest mech no matter which one we went with here's the only problem yeah, it's, so this is carrying 10 heat sinks, which still probably isn't enough to keep up with that. So is this. Um, though this is probably a little bit more manageable. I don't know if the stalker is what I had in mind um, for our next mech. It's, uh, it's very hot, is the problem. So we're going to jump down to Bychester and then up to Avon and then back to Karita Space just while I do a little bit of shopping here. Because uh, we are up to 12 million, which is an okay place to sort of heavy mech shop, maybe even a salt mech shop. Probably should have checked the prices on those while I was there. I did forget to let my eyes trail down. The Black Knight here. The 6B. Um, which has pulse lasers on it. Um, which I mean, besides the fact that it's another 1P here, or no, the 1P is not what I was just looking at, is it? It might be. Charger 1A1, yeah, not the, uh, not the charger you want, not the charger you want. So it's the Centurion, Laser Centurion. Now, this is interesting. It comes with six double heat sinks. Um, 
ooh, 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 ooh. What does that cost? About eight million. About eight million. I might come back for that Black Knight. I'm not gonna lie. Let's take a look at the pilot roster. Yep, nothing there. We might end up jumping back to buy Chester. Cause uh That's pretty good Black Knight. That's pretty good Black Knight. And uh we can still do some things to offset the heat. Even with uh what did it say? Six double heat sinks? I can foresee heat being a problem on that machine. But we might be able to offset that a little bit. So, Class 3 Jump Jets, 6 Commandos. What's the reward on this? Flavors? Yeah. Let's talk about another piece of equipment I never use. Um, do I already have this? Let me see something. Class 3 Jump Jets. Um, no, I want to see my equipment. There we go. Yeah, I already have that. So I'm going to take that. So that's fine. And... Nah, we're not we're not gonna do that. We might kill six commandos just organically, so I'll take it for now. Yep. So there you go, we just made two fifty one. Actually speaking of which, I probably should sell all these, as I'm never gonna install them again. So there you go. That's nice and taken care of. Um that's right, I wanted to look at the mech market. So there is Dragon 1C here. Uh, and another Victor 9B. I don't think uh, I don't think I'm in the market to run two Victors, is the thing. So could just check Port Arthur quick and then go to Bychester. Um Which is definitely the plan. Plans in motion. We're trying to find trying to find a new member of the team. Yeah, it was 13 million to work with. So, again, a Battlemaster 1P, though this one is actually in pretty good condition. I think the only thing is... Yeah. Catapult C1B. Um, I mean, it's in good shape, but... And it does come with double heat sinks, surprisingly enough. Um, but again, probably not where we're at. Oni V. That's actually pretty solid. Warhammer 6K. Ryan's a good mech, man. But I do think... I do think that Black Knight is the best pickings here. So we're just going to go grab it. You know, we might have wasted a little bit of money jumping around and... Looking at other stuff, but the Black Knight's in perfect condition. It's coming with six double heat sinks. And all in all, we we know Black Knights are good, man. So we're gonna pick this up for eight million. So we are broke again. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Now, a couple of things here is uh let me just take a look at this real quick. So I love the large pulses. So those are definitely going to stick around. I think the ERPPC might be the odd man out here. In terms of uh, just being kind of too much heat. And it's really like not in the best interest of this machine to actually run this. I think I drop it. You know, like, there are just things that would benefit better from an ERPPC, in my opinion, than, uh, than a Black Knight. You know, what I could do is, uh, toss a single large laser in here with it. And then just go two more heat sinks. I mean, the armor spread is fine. This is similar to what I would do. Though I gotta tell you, the small laser short burst probably a waste. Could go 65. Sixty-six twenty-six. 
that's fine. Honestly, I don't even mind if it gets legged, really, but I guess we can go 49, 49. And the, um, the reason I'm, well, I'd rather have this on the head. Put two on the head. The reason I say I don't mind if it gets legged, really, is because these double heat sinks will probably survive if it gets legged. Speaking of which, you want those as central as possible so we don't lose them. Now, the Beagle... The Beagle is okay. It's just like, uh, what's the word? I mean, the only thing it's really good for is, like, canceling out other people's ECM. But if we take it out, we'd get a ton and a half back. I think we do want a couple of regular heat sinks in here. And uh, we're just going to run it like this and see how it does. So it's nice and cheap. Just outfit the Vulcan real quick. Let's go ahead and just repair everything. Let's take these off, because we normally would anyway. Bunch of medium laser short bursts. The flamer is a waste of a slot, in my opinion. Everybody's welcome to their opinions. Now, the machine gun on the left arm. We could actually make that something better. 34 and 14. Let's bring this up. That's too low, even for a Vulcan. Okay. So, 37 and a half like that. Alright, so 37 and a half. The machine gun ammo is probably better off in the legs. Oh, what could I realistically do with the final 37 and a half here? Probably just more heat sinks, really. And then, uh, just if I max out the head, does that get me there? Not quite. 39.93, we're full armor everywhere. I'm kinda okay with this. I don't feel like it's worth throwing anything in that small energy slot, especially since I'll probably never be driving this myself. Yeah, I think it's okay to just leave it like this. All right, it was a little bit expensive to fix the Vulcan, but the long-term goal is actually to uh, drop the Wolfhound. So we're not gonna worry about it too much. All right, jump over to Ardaz. So we'll get there before we have to pay our bills, which is nice, because now our bills are a million a month. So that is the one thing about starting with a bigger mech roster, is bigger maintenance costs. Um, you know, there's a cantina here. Kill 16 missile carriers and 10 harassers. That'll get us a narc, I mean, that's fine. Uh, that'll get us some more machine guns, which is fine. So, uh, let's take a look at the market here. Yeah, it's nothing really. All right, contract time. It's 315 tons limit. So, let's take a look. Destroy Lord Franson. So, uh, we can probably deduct from that that this is an assassination. Now's our chance to land a significant strike against the Crimson Inclination by taking out Franson himself. Be careful, though. They appear to be running dangerous low in supplies and could be getting desperate. Okay. So, we do obviously need some money, and I wouldn't mind some salvage, so I guess we split it 50-50. This is the hard part, because if I split it 50-50, I probably won't be making much money. I think we just have to hope that, uh, that the mission reward is a mech, because I don't want to uh, sacrifice money. Now, the Thunderbolt actually performed really well last time. Um... But what if I popped him into the Black Knight? Brings us up to 280. I feel like the Archer is going to be real useful here, but we could bring the Awesome. Could bring the Awesome. And then I actually think it's better to just bring the Victor. Yeah, I mean, we're still 15 under. Can I upgrade? I mean, I could upgrade to... 
the archer or the grasshopper. Probably more likely the archer. Um, I feel like assassination is really not what the archer is for. Uh, I mean, the grasshopper is for. Honestly, I'm. I'm I think I'm okay with sticking in the Crusader and just seeing what happens. Whoa! That would have been bad. Hold on a minute here. I'll select all and apply. Yeah, much better. Much better. Can't go in there with just a green Black Knight. That would have been nasty. At some point, I'm going to jump behind the wheel of that Black Knight to make sure that his heat issues are... Uh, good, but for now, I'm okay to just let it run as is. Let's see, let's see. I can never remember what transmissions I've done and what transmissions I haven't. We were able to track down active movement on the surface of this planet. Looks like they didn't think this one through very well. Anyhow, I've marked the location. Okay, so. Is the staging area of the. Hold on. I'm getting a transmission from Franson. Patching it through now. To the unidentified mech unit approaching our compound. Let's take a look. Commando. I think I did just pick up a thing to kill commandos, didn't I? No right to be entering this airspace. My followers will not allow you to disrupt our operations. You have been warned. Seems they know we're coming. We'll proceed as plans, Commando. But be careful down there. As they say, nothing is as dangerous as a wounded beast backed into a corner. Alright, that'll take care of that. So. A custom dragon. I think I can go this way. Kind of says I can't, but. Alright, let's go through the valley then, I suppose. Oh, just short of it. Oh, okay, I didn't even have to finish going over the hill to find out that that was not the spot. That's nice. Ooh. There's plenty of opposition here, though. I remember to move at group speed so we don't lose the awesome. Um... It is the odd man out on mech speed in this mission. Woo! That's a sick hit. That is a tough shot to make with the PPC, so... Gotta give it to the AI on that one. I don't think it's people like us. Um... What do, we, what do we think it is? A blackjack and a black knight. Okay. Well, let's go get involved. If you can take the arms off the black knight. Well, the arms on the Crusader are made of tissue paper. That's what I've learned today. So it's a little aggravating that we have not reached our objective yet, and we are already down an arm.
But oh, actually, that's our objective, <laughs> right there. So I guess he came to us. All right, and he's down. All right. Ooh, a catapult. Alright. Jeez. Okay, the Black Knight is actually in uh, pretty good shape. Now, I did see a catapult over here. Ah, oh, he's right there. Yeah, so salvage on this mission probably would have been pretty good. But, you know. But, it is what it is. So. That should be Crimson Crusade all finished up. Oh, he still made four and a half million. Ooh, an AMS. Yeah, we could have got another Black Knight. This is the version I had in my last campaign. I guess I'll take the AMS, which means I'll probably have to take the AMS ammo. Oh, there isn't any. Yeah, but I'll take it. Why not? Um, medium lasers, AC2s, a tier four small laser. Man, it's too bad small lasers suck. I guess just take a better large laser, why not? Alright, so we didn't we didn't actually end up losing that much money. It seems that the Crusader's arms are cheap enough to replace. Uh, which is nice. Ah, we have not finished Crimson Crusade. Collective force for this mission cannot exceed 50 tons. House Karita additionally advises the use of jump-capable mechs for this mission. Um... All right. I mean, I'm not gonna read all that. That's a lot. So here's the thing: like equipment collector is great and all, but we don't really have a ton of equipment. So yeah, nothing crazy here. All right. So quick repair. Well, let me make sure I have. Alright, so I don't have that machine gun. That's fine. They even sell machine guns here? They do. Let's just get those. Just to be safe. It's 121,000. It's fine. Alright, Black Knight doesn't look like it lost anything, and it didn't. Victor didn't lose anything. Awesome. Didn't lose anything. Nice, nice. We like to see it. Like to see it. All right, we got Marawi over here. Like I said, I mean, when if the repairs aren't outrageous, you might as well just do them in system. S kill thirty VTOLs. What's the reward for that? Tier 4 PPC, a bunch of single heat sinks, collected Jenner. Eh. We only need one more Javelin. Need five more commandos, though. Let's take a look here. So, this is at the final point of contention. Lure remaining Crimson Inclination forces into designated ravine. That's interesting. So, again, we're just going to go full cash. Because the, the hope is to go shopping. This is interesting here. So it looks like I got to roll solo. Um, What do I have? I got the crab. I guess I'm going in the crab. 
Okay. Uh, that does concern me a bit. A difficulty 60 mission with only a baby crab. A little baby crab. But, uh, you know, hopefully there's some money in it for us. Uh, no, nah, we probably should stagger those. These can just go together, whatever. Um, now nah, we'll just chain these. Go one, two, three, four. That works. Okay. Commander, Brigadier General Rozowski here. I love the design of the crabs. But time is of the essence. I'll be brief. The few remaining Crimson Inclination members are attempting to meet with Hausteiner operatives about the possible arms deal. Naturally, this is a problem for House Curita, but the Brass Fila show of force would only tip off the Inclination's foreign handlers. This, we hope, is where you come in. We want you to run an interception role for our small strike force, drawing the Inclination's mech into an ambush at a nearby ravine. Huh. The buggy terrain should make mobility difficult for them, trapping them, and allowing my forces to move in and put an end to this once and for all. I've already supplied your CEO with the location. I know we're asking a lot from you, but rest assured, you will be handsomely compensated. Razuski out. So we're the bait. There's a smart way to go about this. Oh. Country. Stealth is key to success. I have readings for a number of detection installations around that you should disable before they alert the inclination to your presence. I see why jump jets were recommended. This mud slows you down. Use jump jets to dislodge from the swamp. It should make navigating through it easier. Well. You're approaching a comm station now, Commander. Take it down. Okay. The initial volley was not great. Oh, he's right there. I'm like, where is he? It's been a long time since I've had to ride solo, you know? Definitely gotta watch that armor. It's already red. I mean, just after a small initial engagement there. That guy's got an angle on us. Is this, uh. Ah, I see. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Go, 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 go. We're stuck. <laughs> I wish I had known about this. I'm zigging and zagging. Yeah, this is definitely... Definitely gonna give me issues. Can I see this guy that's shooting me in the back? Oh, come on. This is, uh, not fun. <laughs> this is stressful. That's an AC turret? Yep, thank you for the heads up. Don't give him a shot. Don't give him a shot. Alright, he's down. Okay. Oh, oh. That's a big one. Woo. Okay. I gotta find a way to cool this mech down a little bit. 
You'd think all the puddles would help, but I suppose not. I really hope that that, uh, that their radar dish isn't the final objective, because those things are durable. Who knows, maybe there was a better option than the crab, but uh, it was exactly the tonnage, and it's pretty quick, so I imagined maybe the crab was the way to go. Zig and zig. Alright. Got him. <laughs> How much bigger is this? Oh! We're only like halfway. That's, uh... Not really what I was expecting to see. Ooh, dodge that, if you can. All right, that's down. Okay, okay. So this is going to end up being a little bit of a long episode, guys. I, uh, I did not realize this was a super long mission. Don't give that the opportunity to shoot you in the back. If you can help it. Don't give it the opportunity to shoot you in the front either. Alright. Cool, cool. So, uh, we are running through... Oh, actually, I think that's the city right over there, so... Maybe it's not going to be a super long episode. We're going to find out. Already taken a fair amount of damage, though. Missions like these just tend to... Uh, Beat the brakes off you a little bit. Is this mud down here, or can I walk through this? I can walk through this solid. This makes it feel nice and nice and stealthy, you know. Okay, Commander. We've detected energy signatures for five bottlenecks within the city. Five. Use your agility to find and target all five. Five bottlenecks inside the city. Lead them to the ambush point and join in the fun. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Um, but am I the fish, though? Five battle mechs I've got to find. There's one. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. We're not here to fight him, is the thing. Oh, to be fair, we could fight the spider. There's a Jenner. Uh, the problem is that the spider is faster than we are. Try to lose him. No, no, that's not how you lose him. Come on. Where are the rest of them? Go this way. I gotta. F oh! That's one of them! Run, 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 run. I don't think the dragon can keep up with us. Fuck. Get out of the way! Okay. Go, go. What am I stuck on? Use your agility, they said. Come on, nobody told you to stop. I 
I guess I should have just brought like something super fast and that would have solved my problems, right? Oh, come on. Where's the fifth mech? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. This is stressful. If I was the fifth mech, where would I be, guys? Oh, that's the Jenner. There it is. A locust, okay. Oh no! Where did that even come from? It's going to be a miracle if we even survive this mission. Um, especially since we're not exactly faster than who's chasing us. So... Trying to think, like, did I even have a faster mech? I mean, I probably did, but not by much. Don't slow me down, water. Don't slow me down. Thank you, thank you. Come on. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I would love to make it. I'm hoping that this just like turns into a cinematic, and I'm not expected to fight, cause. I can't. Oh shit. Uh, that's that's probably that right there. Cause I don't have the jump jets to get out of the mud. All right, it does look like I'm not being shot at anymore, which is nice. Ooh, Marauder two catapult. Marauder 2, catapult, catapult. Okay, yeah, that's quite the ambush for us. Yeah, we're not joining in on the fight because uh, we'll probably die. So we're just trying to get around the back here and not get shot at all. That's the plan. Yeah, destroy all enemy mechs as if I even have combat capabilities left at this point. In fact, uh, all I'm doing is looking for a good place to hide. Behind this marauder is as good a place as any. Take some pot shots, I guess. Alright. It looks like we did it. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Okay. That was terrifying. And this was not the mech to bring for this. <laughs> but, I will say, that's a really unique mission right there. That was actually really fun. You're on edge the whole time. Um, so, say what you will about how much uh, that was by the skin of my teeth, but that was really fun to do. Um, again, if you know what's coming, anything's easier, you know? Like, uh, it's always easier when you know what to expect, but I did not. So, as well just take these. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> We're in pretty bad shape, but we did alright, we did alright. 
And there we go, the Dragon SDW. The Mercenary Commander, thank you for all your help in dealing with the Crimson Inclination. Their little rebellion has been wiped off the map. Brigadier General Rzerski recommended that we reward you with the Franson's mech, and we agree that it would be a suitable bonus for your excellent performance. The whole system thanks to you, Commander. We are eternally grateful, and your contributions will not be forgotten. So there you go, first hero mech. First hero mech joins the club. Um, so, there it is. The Dragon uh, SDW. So, guys, obviously I'm going to uh, go ahead and do repairs off screen. Let me know if you had fun with this one. Let me know if, how you enjoyed that little nail biter at the end there. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And, uh, you know, I love having uh, little conversations with you guys in the comments section. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.